Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 29th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Baku does not think on a peace treaty, Alexander Zigner. That issue should enter into agenda. The human rights defender of Artsakh on the right of return. Dignis Fortress, the defender Fani and Shiryak Avan, Khajak Sirekanyan. The Day of Culture and Solidarity dedicated to Armenia will be held in France on 8 September. From the school memories of the survivors of the genocide against the Armenians. 19th century mirror, Western Armenia. On 2 September, the 29th session of the Governing Council of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. President Ms. Lydia Markosyan welcomed the attendees. Ms. President spoke about the significance and importance of the summer university, as well as the activities of the event to be held on September 8. Ms. President and Mr. President Armenak Abrahamian informed that the flags of the Republic of Western Armenia and the Republic of France will be displayed during the ceremony. President Armenak Abrahamian announced that during the ceremony, five people will receive the citizenship of the Republic of Western Armenia. He informed that he has formed a council related to art, culture and heritage, which will be approved by the signature of Ms. President. Mr. President also informed that the medal, named after Komitas Vartapetis Radia, will be awarded to those who have been devoted to Western Armenia with their creative and cultural activities. He informed that the medal will be awarded to Samvel Karapetian posthumously. Ms. President Lydia Markosyan expressed her satisfaction in this regard. At the end of the session, President Armenia Gabrahamian spoke about the three valuable medals in the Republic of Western Armenia. Those are military, Pohos Nubar and Komitas Vartapet. Baku does not think on a peace treaty. It was Alexander Zinger's opinion. In an interview with Delphi News Director of the Institute of Eastern Europe and the Seas in Israel, Alexander Zigner responded to the statement of Baku President Ilham Aliyev that Eastern Army is not interested in concluding a peace agreement. Zigner noted that it is surprising when Baku reacts when Armenia purchases weapons, but there is no reaction when Baku spends millions of dollars on armaments and starts a war. He emphasized that the constitution of Armenia will not be changed by the will of Baku. The Minsk group, according to Zigner, acted unstable and did not give real result, but the issue of the people of Artsakh still remains unresolved. According to the expert, Baku tries to increase its demands every time. To summarize, Zigner emphasized that in this situation it is Baku that does not want to sign a peace agreement. Having won the last war and having more power and weapons, they continue to increase their demands. Although the Armenian leadership seeks to sign the agreement, Baku is delaying this process, increasing its demands more and more. The statement of Aliyev was not surprising because it is in connection with his previous speeches. Especially during the meeting with the representatives of Turkey, Zigner concluded. Geram Stepanyan assures that returning to Artsakh is impossible without recognition of the right to self-determination. The issue of the right to return to Artsakh should be included in the discussion agenda as a priority. Artsakh human rights defender Geram Stepanyan on the day of Artsakh independence made this statement in a conversation with journalists. At this moment, we declare putting this topic on the agenda as a priority, and in the future, we will discuss all the options and opportunities that may appear over time, said Stepanyan. Khajak Sirekanyan published a video on his Facebook page and wrote, The Cold Fortress on the Border, the Defender Fani and Shirakavan Capitals, Dignis Fortress. The once powerful fortress was located in the Shirak province of the Ararat world of Great Hayek, is existing since ancient times and after the establishment of the Bagratunyan Kingdom in the 9th century, under one serious reconstruction to ensure the protection of the city of Shirakavan and later Ani. The fort had eight powerful towers. The fort was important in the region, serving as a defensive fortress and a political center. It was blown up in the 1916s and is currently in the dilapidated state. Despite its current state, the Tignis fortress continued to be one of the important symbols of the historical heritage of the Armenian people. The Day of Culture and Solidarity dedicated to Armenia will be held in France on 8 September. On Sunday, September 8, the Moulin Fidel Le Plessis Robinson Park will turn into a real window to Armenia, where visitors will have the opportunity to fully recognize Armenian traditions and culture. Organized by the Communications Commission, this day promises unforgettable experiences full of discovery, camaraderie, 
delicious food, souvenirs, and cultural treasures. Visitors will be able to taste traditional dishes prepared by Armenian chefs. Each stall will offer Armenian clothing, handicrafts, and local products. This day also provides an opportunity to meet with various representatives of the French Armenian community. Apart from the pleasure of cultural discovery, the event will have an important humanitarian significance. The collected funds will be used for medical and social support of refugee families and children from Artsakh. By participating in this event, visitors will contribute to an important humanitarian cause that is directly related to the current challenges of the Armenian community. From the school memoirs of the survivors of the genocide against Armenians, Armenians had their own school with bright windows and two spacious rooms. They attended school from the age of six. There was no punishment at school. Children sang, danced, and did physical exercises. Misak Khralyan, born in 1901 in Tilum, says that the children participated in the construction of the school and learned the alphabet with the help of a kind teacher. Swallows were building a nest on the ceiling of the school hall. And one of the photos is Brusa, 1912, of Ripsimian's college. Graduate with director Karapet Temichan, Madenadaran. Hamlet of Sepian, who is a dedicated collector of exceptional examples of Armenian applied art, shared photos of historical importance on his Facebook page, presenting an exceptional example of a mirror dating back to the 19th century. This mirror not only has an artistic value, but also reflects the spirit of the cultural heritage of Western Armenia presenting an exceptional example of a mirror dating back to the 19th century. Hofsepian calls on cultural lovers and to pay more attention to such exceptional examples of Armenian applied art, appreciating their value not only as a work of art but also as living testimonies of the history of the Armenian people. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.